Well, hi there. Welcome to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Stromer. And we love to improve your home and improve your life. And Eric, when you go to the stores and you think, okay, finally I'm going to do fill in the blank to my apartment, to my home, to my whatever. You know, you go to the store and you don't know where to begin. And so that's why we love going to these trade shows where all the different brands give you a sneak peek. At least they give us a sneak peek to what we can expect uh, for the new year. What are some of the trendy new technologies? So as a contractor, you're always worried about energy efficiency. As a consumer, who isn't? I'm always worried about that. It isn't just about the temperature, sure, but it's the air quality, too. The air conditioning and the interior of the home, right. So we went to this one booth at this trade show in Las Vegas, the Builders Show, and isn't it amazing how it's gotten so smart? I mean, this thermostat that we found. Yeah, it it actually can deliver different temperatures to different rooms. It can do all well, sorts of great stuff. So we Wait talked with a Kyle Gordon uh, with the folks at Lennox about what they're doing so that we can really control the quality and the comfort of our air. So we took that idea of a tablet and we put it inside a thermostat that you put on a wall and a beautiful 7-inch touchscreen. So it's simple. as so you press a button and you go. And now kids can interact with it, too. Absolutely. <laughs> and I can play solitaire while I'm trying to turn my heat up, yeah. which is always helpful. And poker. <laughs> no, but you know what's great about this is that, you know, a guy like me who, who needs 1.75 reading glasses to see my own thermostat in the middle of the night, this is a nice, big, vivid image that has that nice projection capability, so you really do see what you're trying to do. And I think a lot of the time people are confused by the, the technology in the, in the thermostat and also the size of it. And those two together make it almost unusable. So this feels like a great solution. It is. And even to take it a step further, we have mobile apps that will work with that thermostat. So for the ultimate in home laziness, if I'm sitting on the couch and I'm uncomfortable, I can just pull out my phone and I can change the temperature from my phone. So you don't have to leave the media room. You can stay on the couch and be changing. Exactly. And then have the, the TV dinner set. put in. <laughs> But, I mean, is this also telling us what is a, um, a conservative or an energy-efficient temperature to keep our thermostat posted at, like in terms of certain seasons, certain times of day, et cetera? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Right out of the box, we have built-in programs which are based on seasons, one for summer, winter, spring, and fall, and an extra energy savings mode. So if you're too lazy to even to program the thermostat, you can just put it in one of those default season settings, and you're all set. Every time Kyle says too lazy, I keep thinking he's talking about me. <laughs> no guilt. I, I think maybe this was designed for me. You know, the question I have is, can we send now individual climates to individual rooms with some of the technology that we have? Absolutely. So we've, today we're also talking about our iHarmony zoning solution, and that's going to allow you to eliminate those hot and cold spots in your house by basically dialing in the temperature exactly that you want for the room that you're in. And not only is that going to improve your comfort, but let's just say in the last 50 years, homes have doubled in size. But the number of people living in those homes has actually decreased. So that means you have these unoccupied areas of your home that you're still heating and cooling. So zoning is going to allow you to uh, stop heating and cooling those unoccupied areas, so it's going to improve your energy efficiency. Now, you can't just have a thermostat look like it's just this simple old thing. I mean, now envision that iPad experience. Well, we yeah, saw that's how cool so yesterday to have that little plastic thermostat. Right. So now, but now they've taken it to the next level, the folks at Lennox. It's not just this cool iPad screen, you can have a gel skin for your thermostat and have your kid's picture or hey, picture of yeah, whatever, or picture, picture of your new puppy. Uh, puppy don't forest. say it. Don't even get into my new puppy. Well, <laughs> that's a whole other story. We're going to put that on Facebook. The yeah. Forest, the black lab puppy. It's pretty good. So gel skins for the thermostat. I mean, it's just so cool. And you can, you can then, you know, you get an app for it and you can communicate with your, from your iPhone or any kind of mobile device to your thermostat. So when you are driving home, it'll warm your house up or that's cool it down. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Really neat. Yeah. Now, speaking of the air quality, I grew up with a house fan, but they and you as a contractor have seen how ventilation is so important in the bathroom to avoid Absolutely. mildew, right? Mildew, yep. You but bet. at Panasonic, it's called Panasonic Ecosystems, they came up with something called the new Whisper Green Fan with LED. And it's not only efficient, right? Yeah, and it's, quiet. it's conditioning the inner air quality. It's recirculating everything so that you have this feeling of freshness within the house. Fresh air is always coming in and circulating, so it keeps the room really comfortable in terms of how it feels, but also and how it's it more flows. healthy. Yeah. And it's for, anyway, it's for more than just the bathroom. So here is a Jim Shelton with Panasonic. 
Ventilation has really、um, taken on a whole new level because in the past it was mostly bathroom ventilation, and we were mostly were talking about removing moisture from the bathroom. But with the homes being built tighter and tighter and tighter. Now indoor air quality has become more of an issue. You know, in the past, when you had、um, a, a typical home, you had cracks, and fresh air would infiltrate into the the house. And you talk about my house. Go ahead. Yes, your homes had you know so, but you had fresh air, so it wasn't it wasn't very energy efficient. But from an indoor air quality point of view, it was good. So we've sealed the homes up now, and and, and you know the construction gets tighter and tighter and tighter. Our motto has always been build tight but ventilate right. But when you tighten the home up, now that fresh air is not coming in, and you need mechanical ventilation to assist the home with with getting the stale air out and drawing fresh air in. So we have, like the Whisper Green we were talking about, that's designed to be、um, a two-purpose fan, a spot ventilation fan for your bathroom, but it's also designed with a DC motor to be set up to run continuously. Hmm. And to be a whole house fan, and so you're exhausting the stale air out of the whole house, and you're bringing fresh air in. But when you walk in with the motion sensor, it would activate the fan and boost it up and become a spot ventilation. It's a good、fan. point. You know, you never think how how the tight home needs the ventilation because it's so tight you don't get any air flow. Well, if it's tight, it's got to be right. Well, have you ever considered? If it's ventilated right. <laughs> if you, have you ever considered the motto? If the glove don't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> No, I probably think not, was, for the, no, no, not for the not for the nice events. No, no. I also am interested to hear more about this Whisper Warm. You describe it as a heat solution. So this is a ventilation fan that also pumps out some heat in the bathroom. Absolutely, it's a you know it's a 110 cfm ventilation fan, but it's got a、uh, fan forced heat. So it actually has two fans, and it once. One's exhausting, and then you have an 80 cfm fan that's that's forcing air over a stainless steel cow rod heating element like you would have in a hot water heater. So it's it's actually you know delivering warm air down to the tiles and down to the feet instead of just having radiant heat. So it's really been, it's been very popular. Very smart. Yes, it's been very popular. And then you know the other things that we were looking at, we've been still talking about a lot of bathroom, but you know we also have、um, balance fans because we're talking about indoor air quality. You know we have our、um, Whisper Comfort, and we have it on display right there. But that actually is an energy recovery ventilator. So it's it's exhausting air, but it's also bringing in fresh air at the same time. But it's using the air that you're exhausting, your conditioned air or your heated air, to temper that outside air that's coming in. So in the winter, you know, instead of bringing in really cold air, you, you use your warm air, and they pass through a capillary core. There's a heat exchange, so it. Okay, so you, so you wait, save so some energy that, by. That's、when? amazing. I was, yeah. But but so where does it, what does it tie into? Is it just taking interior air quality, heated air, or are you tying it into exhaust air no, from our, the furnace? Well, a lot of the energy recovery ventilators or, or HRVs, heat recovery ventilators on the market, do tie into your central system. Right. What's different about this is a standalone unit. We call it a spot ERV, so it, it installs just like a bath fan. But maybe now in your hallway or master bedroom or living room, and you have two four-inch duct runs instead of one now, and one's bringing in fresh air, and one's exhausting. So isn't that cool, Eric? Too that when、uh, you have these these great new ventilation systems, you don't necessarily have to change out all the duct work. You can slide it right on and balance、uh, the interior air. Um, and don't have to rely on the HVAC system. That's right, because replacing ductwork can be really expensive and a and a tough time in the home if you're trying to live there because you're pulling ceilings out and stuff. So this is a really great option if you want to get some ventilation and circulation、mm-hmm. and, and keep the house、uh, comfortable. And I love how there are smart、um, ventilation systems too. I mean, the Whisper Welcome. You just the minute that you're walking into a bathroom or any any room in your home, it just quietly. Yeah,、Comes、but you、on. don't even know that. You can't even hear us <laughs> doing that. I was just in a restroom this morning as I was coming into work, and you walk in the door and you open the door up, and then the light automatically goes on, and you're still looking for the switch because you're conditioned, but right, it's already、right. on. Oh, that's nice. So now our lives are going to be to the point where someday we won't even use switches anymore. It'll、mm-hmm. just sense when you're walking in. I think that's kind of what this is doing as well. It's interesting though in hotels, and we were talking about this with the friends at Panasonic about how hotels、um, don't always have those ventilation fans in the bathroom. No. Because they've learned that sometimes we don't turn them on, and then it will cause mildew in the bathroom. So instead, it's at the top of the hotel, the top、right. of the building.、Yeah. So if you're like in a lower room, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's really bad. No, it's terrible. Yeah. yeah.
So anyway, we loved all those ventilation devices. So when we come back, we're going to continue our little early shopping experience with you as you're planning all the different neat things that you might want to do to your home and the space you call home uh, in the coming months. Uh, We are visiting the Builder Show in Las Vegas, and wait to hear about these appliances. It's all about smart everything, right? Sure is. And uh, the folks at GE have come up with some new tricks up their sleeve, like this oven. Well, let's just say that Eric will be able to not leave the couch and still change how he's cooking his meal. Finally, something <laughs> more more convenient. I know. And then they have a new finish <laughs> for some of the appliances that if you're a mom or a dad and you've got kids who love to show off their art, you're going to love this too. So all kinds of very cool things to share with you as we uh, take our journey to the Builder Show to help you get a little smarter on what you need and what you might want for your home. Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole, you're listening to Home Wizards. We love to improve your home and improve your life. Waiting for the dinner bell to do the bell thing. Dinner bell, dinner bell, ring. 